If you please, would you look over this pamphlet? It says how life would be great without CPUs. You so in my way! Get! Oh! Sorry! Sorry. But pardon me. Please accept this informative pamphlet. It says how we need proper laws, not CPUs. Ma, what's this lady talking about? Shush. Don't make eye contact. Come along, Bort. Oh, jeez. Nobody's taking them. I spent all night hand copying over a hundred of them, too. Tonight's supposed to be our big icebreaker meeting. But at this rate, no one will even be there. Is this a waste of time? Can a girl like me even get one person to come along? No! I mustn't waver. I am doing the right thing. I think. Maybe. It's mostly right. Sort of. Fine! I won't return home until I pass out each and every one of these. And that's final! You there! Just what do you think you're doing? Oh dear! I'm sorry! Sorry! So, so sorry! Hmm? Are you all by yourself? I thought we heard that a group of citizens were protesting. Uh, well, that that was the original plan, but no one came, so... Oh, so you're all lonely and passing out pamphlets like a little orphan girly. Neptune, please. Um, in any event, we've received complaints, so we must ask you to stop, miss... Oh, um, yes? Sorry. I'm the primary representative for the group you mentioned. Ray writes. Um, uh, uh, forgive me for asking, but just who are... Huh? Uh, uh, you look familiar, actually. Wait! No, no, no way! You're the goddess Neptune and the goddess candidate Nepgear! Ah, go me! We're strangers, but you still recognize me, so I'm flattered and stuff. You are a CPU after all. Still, being called goddesses instead is embarrassing. Wh what have I done? I made the goddesses themselves come out to punish me! No! Forgive me! Oh, please don't run! Drat, she's gone. <laughs> she spied my biceps and was like, oops, see ya! This is totally the power of a CPU. I get the feeling she was just sort of cowardly, but sure. She did mention that she represents that group, so maybe it's not a big deal after all. Uh-huh. Isti was just being a bit hysterical. <laughs> get it? Head home, Neptune? You betcha! Since we worked like bosses today, Isti has to have loosened up. Honey, I'm home! We're back! Welcome home, Nep Nep! Welcome home, Gigi! Wow, you two actually did go out to work. Next thing you know, I'll stop being a cynic. I F. I didn't know you and Kampu would already be back. It's a rare day that you two get home before we do. Rare? Like you even know our schedules. You're always holed up in the Basilicom being lazy. Unlike your job, playing games, Kampu and I have careers to go to every day. Oh, 
When you use quotations so offensively, it hurts. Don't lecture her so fast, Iffy. I'll get dinner started, so you two must go sanitize your hands. Score! Compass special dinner! Ayef and Kampa are my sister's oldest and closest friends. They practically live with us, too. Oh, I'm good friends with them as well. Ayef is a guild agent. She's very responsible and often yells at my sister and me. But however mad she gets, there's a kind of sweetness about her. She's really cool like that. As for Kampa, she's a nurse by day and comes to the Basilicom at night and does our chores. I can't do all the things she can, so I feel bad when she takes care of all that stuff. Oops, dinner's ready, so I'll stop narrating for now. Muchadelic! Kampa, you get more and more cooktastic every single day. I always try my best to get your silly compliments, Nap Nap. So, how'd it feel to actually exercise and get some work done? My body was a little slow to respond, but nothing really problematic happened. I assume you did not waste any time frolicking to other countries, did you? What? No, 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 no! That's a rude accusation, Isti. You're easier to read than a picture book. Um, we did get some work done. We even met a representative from the citizens group. Oh, that group. I guess I've heard they've been vaguely inconvenient at times. Are they bad people? They're nothing to worry about. They don't do anything illegal, and there are like zero members. They just preach their crap on the streets and pass out pamphlets. That's right. The representatives seem like a real, are you okay, mom type. Whatever. If he said it's fine, so Isti, you're totally getting all worked up for no reason. The mere fact that someone has appeared here is a problem. This affects your reputation, Neptune. Ah! Are you still an angry little bee? Now, now. If we start lecturing one another now, dinner won't be as yummy. Fair enough. In any event, please continue to perform your duties as CPU tomorrow as well. Wait, tomorrow? I mean, I really worked so crazy hard today, so I figured it was vacation time. Did I not make myself clear? Fine. <sighs> Where am I? I never thought I would get scared by a goddess, run off and get completely lost. I'm such a screw-up, but I'm not even doing anything wrong, I... I... I think. All I'm asking for are proper rules and regulations, so we can all survive without goddesses. But nobody wants to join me. Even if they come, they're not listening to me at all. Maybe I should just give up. This is too much for me anyway. It was an outrageous thing to try. Someone as pitiful as me, trying to defy the goddess. <laughs> Ugh, I finally found you. You've been lost for like 10 friggin' days. It's not funny. Hmm? Still, damn, you're so quiet and boring. You're just like her. I is someone talking to me? No shit! Where the hell are you looking? I'm here! You say here, but I don't see anyone. Wow, I must be more messed up than I thought. I'm even hearing voices. Yeah, idiots, you're hearing my voice. Look, this way! You keep saying that, but no matter if I look left or right, you're nowhere to be seen. Jeez, it takes you forever to catch on. Just like her. So annoying. Huh? A small person is... Well, you're floating in mid-air! Ah! What the? You freaked me out! Don't scream like that! Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, this is weird. How can a girl as small as you even exist? Ah! I really am no good at anything I've ever done! Now I'm hallucinating! I'm no hallucinating! 
hallucination, damn it! Shut up for a second and listen! Oh, okay. Wait, this is happening? Uh, um, just who are you? Do you have business with me? Duh! Why else would I drag my ass out here? She asked, and I made an exception. Be grateful. She? Who? Shut it! I'm supposed to give this to you. She won't use it anymore, so it's yours. Take it. Huh? Um, thank you very much. Huh? W what is this dark lump? Don't ask so many poorly worded questions. Just stop talking, open up, and eat this. Eat this? No matter what you say, this isn't food at all! I... I don't want it! I, I'm not hungry at all. If I tell you to eat something, you damn well better open up like a good little birdie! No! Don't make me do it! Oh, stop! <laughs> No fancy restaurant? Bigger bites! Like a heathen! <sighs> Done stuff in your face? How you feeling? Hey! I asked you a friggin' question! You gonna ignore me? Hey! <laughs> Why are you foaming at the mouth? You unconscious? <sighs> Whatever. Still, doing all this crap has made things kind of interesting. I'll leave her here. See ya. Huh? Huh? Did I fall asleep? In the middle of an alley? Oh no. I got lost and fell asleep in such an odd place. How useless can I be, really? What's wrong with me? I think I have heartburn. I don't feel so good. Maybe I should hurry home and get some rest.